hi guys welcome to my youtube channel as usual my name is Yesinde Adeyemi and I have five years experience as a commercial cabin crew in an international airline I'm currently a VIP cabin crew so today I'm going to be talking about are uh, airlines going to take ever going to take new cabin crew even right now that they have found the vaccine and who knows whether in a year or two the airline starts to recruit do you think they're going to start to Take, uh, do you think they are going to take new cabin crew or will, is it going to be only their redundant cabin crew that they are going to take? So if you are interested in this topic, stay tuned and watch till the end. I have a Facebook page where I do live sessions every Tuesday and Friday by 9 a.m. And I would love for you to join me. So click on the link below to join on my Facebook page. You can ask me any questions. Come if you have any comments or any suggestions, I will appreciate it. So click on the link below and join. So to today's topic, are these airlines ever going to recruit new cabin crew? And um, my answer is yes. However, you need to understand that the redundant cabin crew have been part of them for years. The redundant cabin crew were made redundant as a result of the COVID-19. They were not fired, they were not sacked, they were not except for those who were sacked. But for those who were actually made redundant, you need to understand that these people have been, some of them have been in the airlines for years. Some of them have... Um, been loyal to this airline for years and one thing most employers appreciate is loyalty not someone that's jumped from here to here the moment you encounter one challenge you're jumping to another airline thinking that it's going to be better however you need to know that these airlines their redundant cabin crew already have um how would i explain it they already have a file they've established a relationship with them they already have they they, they know them that, that's what I'm trying to say. It's more like, it's like a relationship. You already know this person. You know what the person is capable of. The person has been in your airline. And the only reason why you, the, person, uh, the, the person was made redundant is because of a situation which was out of the control of the airline. So as a cabin crew want to be, you cannot, re, you cannot compare yourself with a redundant cabin crew. However, I need you to look on the positive side. There will always be... It require there will always be need for new cabin crew because guess what not every redundant cabin crew is going to come back you see life is in seasons everybody changes things come up um everybody's in so many different faces in life and you know this covid 19 period is kind of like an eye opener to a lot of things that you might not have seen if there was no this covid 19. so i don't want you to you know um feel like oh they're not going to take us they're going to take their redundant cabin crew and so let me just relax don't relax because these airlines when the need arises which i believe that it's going to be in a year's time or two um submit your cv apply even if you have your date of joy i said it in my in a video concerning if did you have your date of joining and you know some people come <laughs> made some comments that how can they say they won't call me again and Look, let me tell you, it's, you need to face reality. You have your date of joining does not mean you are a confirmed staff of an airline. You just have your date of joining. From your date of journey, you are still under probation. And probation does not mean you are confirmed. So you need to understand how these things work and face reality. The fact that you have your date of joining, you, are, you say you want to wait till when the airline calls you. Well, if you want to, fine. But... I will advise that when you when this airline starts to recruit, put in your application, apply again. The same the same things that you did at your interview, do it again. You can even bring it up that this was what happened. You even had your date of joining and all that. So, um, if you're a cabin crew and your dream is to work in either Qatar, Emirates, Etihad, British Airways, any of these international airlines. Once they start recruiting, put in your application. Don't look at the fact that they're going to take their redundant cabin crew. You do not have any business with if the airlines are going to take their redundant cabin crew or not. It's really none of your business. Face what is your own business, and that is you getting your foot into the airline. So I know you've gained something from my channel today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Have you joined my Facebook page? Make sure you join. A lot of things to learn and gain. My name is Ietinde Adeyemi. I'm a VIP cabin crew. Stay blessed.